Within a galaxy riddled with constant war, there is no faction in the 40k universe that can afford to ignore any method of warfare. No matter how heinous or remorseful the act may be, if it means victory over the enemy, you better believe the major factions of the galaxy have used it. The Eldar race is one of the most proud and arrogant of the Xeno factions in the Milky Way galaxy. Because they attained a near utopian society, many of their kind see themselves above the rest. However, the Eldari race has not shied away from one of the most damning methods of warfare imaginable, terrorism. Most craftworlds don't allow their reputation to be tarnished by acts of terror against the civilian population. Instead, they give these acts to Eldar warriors that follow the path of the wandering or path of damnation. But not just any old ranger becomes a terrorist. It is the most successful and disconnected members of society that carry out these acts. Known as Pathfinders, this class of Eldar warrior are tasked with the craft world's dirtiest tasks. And with that said, I want to welcome you guys back to another 40 Facts About the 40k Universe. I am your host, Gersh1, and today we're going to be talking about the Pathfinder, the Eldar Pathfinder, different than the Fire Warrior Pathfinder. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40k lore videos every single day. If you guys have any suggestions or questions, just comment down in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoy our content, thank our patrons on Patreon. Link in the description if you guys want to support us. It's just a dollar a month. But with that said, let's get into 40 facts on the Eldar Pathfinder. Pathfinders are the most experienced and skilled of the Eldar Rangers who have successfully walked the path of the Outcast for many Terran centuries. They have overcome their temptations to engage in the types of hedonistic access and savage behaviors that cause the Eldar soul to be devoured by Slanesh, yet they still feel compelled to walk the path of the Outcast. Pathfinders are even more skilled at infiltration and survival in hostile environments than a standard Ranger. Pathfinders have become adept over the centuries at roving ahead of the main Eldari warhost, using their expertise in guerrilla tactics to sabotage their enemy's forces or damage their chain of command before battle has even started. Bypassing sentries, sabotaging machinery, destroying supply dumps, and even the mysterious assassination of important commanders all ultimately take their toll upon both the enemy's numbers and their morale, leaving them jittery and uncoordinated as they vainly try to restore their unit's cohesion and momentum. This allows the more mobile Eldar forces to strike at the foe's newly revealed weak points, with the grace and efficiency that have always been the Eldar's trademark in warfare. While Pathfinders can be found across the Milky Way galaxy, calling every Eldar craft world their home, by far the most skilled or most notable Pathfinders come from the craft world of Alatok. Alatok society is more rigidly organized around the pursuit of the Eldar life paths than most others, and so many young Eldari of Alatok are more prone to rebel against the disciplined lifestyle and to seek adventure as outcasts. More Eldari from Alatok pursue the path of the outcast than any other Eldar craft world. That's not to say that other craft worlds don't utilize the Ranger or the Pathfinder. Thanks to the dazzling array of the Aspect Warriors found in the Beltan craft world, its Ranger squads are often foolishly overlooked by the ignorant foe. A key component in the Beltan attack force is the Eldari Ranger, which directs the fury of the Swordwings against the enemy, silently scouting out enemy positions in preparation for the main assault. The same can be said about the Pathfinders of Craftworld Saimhan, who utilize their stealth and cunning to approach the enemy unseen, while their ubiquitous wild riders ride headlong into battle. Because of their rogue nature, many Pathfinders find themselves not only trading and visiting the planets of humans, orcs, and Tau, but also greatly influencing their empire's growth and altering the fate of an entire race. Such was the case for the well-known Pathfinder of Craftworld Ilkaith, known as Sindelin the Traveler. Sindelin and the other of his people undertook the epic journey through the Jericho Maw Warp Gate and into the Jericho Reach at the behest of their Farseers. This was a result of what would become known as the Prophecy of the Crooked Path, laid down by the Farseers of Craftworld Ilkaith hundreds of Terran years ago. It identified the role their people would have to play in this region of space. It was seen by these Farseers that a time would come when a great enemy would rise in the eastern fringe of the galaxy. Aided by the forces of discord and destruction, it would lay claim to a gateway to the heart of the galaxy, a gateway that the humans would be powerless to defend or to close. However, it was a fate that could be averted if the enemies of the Eldari could be turned upon each other and time could be won to close the gate themselves. This lofty task is why Sindelin has spent much of his life moving silently and unseen between the worlds with his cadre of elite rangers. Using the wisdom of the Eldar and his own cunning, Sindelin has subtly influenced events across the entire reach, instigating battles, assassinating influential targets, and even creating alliances between enemies, all for the purpose of prolonging conflict. Most recently, Sindelin and his followers have been operating in the Orpheus salient of the Aculus Crusade, meddling with the course of events and the advance of High Fleet Dagon. 
Sindelin is marked as an extremely dangerous foe with Terran decades of training and experience in stealth and subversion. It is for this reason that only the tiniest whisper of his presence has ever reached the Imperium, and even the Inquisition has only the vaguest information on him, little more than a name and some sketchy secondhand reports of this deadly Eldari assassin. What worries the Inquisition and the Death Watch the most about Sindelin is not the lack of information, but rather the fact that they have no clear idea of the nature of his mission. In their eyes, the Eldari seem to appear at random, killing, sabotaging, or otherwise altering events without any clear short-term effects. While the damage he has inflicted seems limited, he has still been branded as a priority target and a dangerous Xeno terrorist by the Death Watch. Kill teams dispatch to areas where he is thought to be operating and often have Sindelin's assassination given to them as a secondary mission. To date, however, Sindelin has yet to be cornered by any kill team, and his few encounters with other Imperial forces have been brief and very one-sided. Not all Pathfinders are as successful as Sindelin. Many embark on missions that are far more arduous than they originally thought. Such was the case for the Pathfinder Rutarius, one of Illic Nightspear's first disciples. Rutarius aided Nightspear in the assassination attempt upon the Necron overlord Anarik and the Traveler during the Karnak campaign. After their attempt failed, Rutarius fled towards the Webway Gate on Karnak that led to the safety upon Craftworld Alatok. Meanwhile, the wrathful Necron overlord set upon hunting down the Eldari. Luckily, Rutarius was one of the few to reach the Webway portal and escape. Although they follow the path of the outcast, most Pathfinders usually plead fealty to their former Craftworlds. Such was the case for Ronan the Pathfinder of Craftworld Oldway, who formerly served Farseer Indranel during the First Aurelian Crusade. He aided the Farseer's forces on the assault of the Angel Forge on the planet of Meridian. He valiantly stayed behind manning the Guard Tower to halt the advance of the Blood Raven Space Marine chapter. Ronan narrowly escaped with his life and soon renounced his ties to the Seer-led Craftworld. Though he wandered the stars, he remained loyal to his race, assisting them whenever they called upon him. He later found himself allied to Kylath, an autarch of Craftworld Alitok, and aided him during the Third Aurelian Crusade. During the latter part of the campaign, he began experiencing nightmares in regards to his lane sister, Taldir, a farseer of Ulthway that was captured, interrogated, and executed by the Chaos Corrupted Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. Ronan eventually confronted and defeated him, recovering the soul stone of his sister that the chapter master had kept as a memento. Ronan vowed to return his sister's spirit to Ulthway. Illic Nightspear is an Eldar ranger of the Craftworld, Alitok, and has wandered the path of the outcast for thousands of years, striding the skies of fate and seeking out the known paths that span the galaxy. He is known to different ranger bands by many different titles, the Sentinel of the Stars, the Wageforger, and the Shield of Alitok. To Illic, one name is as good as another. Such is Nightspear's knowledge of the webway that it is said by the Eldar that he can arrive unheralded upon any planet, stepping through its portals and out across the galaxy with the ease of a man drawing breath. While this is undoubtedly an exaggeration, Illic clearly knows more of the hidden path than any living being except the Harlequins themselves. Indeed, some say that he knows too much. Over the centuries, Illic's great knowledge has benefited Elito and its fellow craft worlds. He has guided countless Eldar war hosts through the winding paths of the webway to battle against the foes of the Eldar. His worth to the Eldar cause does not end with his arrival on the battlefield. His accuracy with a long rifle is unmatched in all the galaxy, and Orc warlords, Necron overlords, Imperial Guard generals, and Chaos champions have all met their end under his watchful gaze. Illic has walked the path of the outcast for so long, he is no longer clear if he can leave it. He wanders the galaxy, pursuing some hidden agenda that his acolytes whisper is the only thing staving off the Rana Dandra. Legends fall like footprints in his wake, telling that he fights against the rise of the Necrons, that he searches for the lost seer stones, or that he seeks to transcend the mortal plane altogether. Though Illic prefers to fight alone, he has garnered a great following amongst the outcast, and especially those of his own craft world. Master Sniper and Expert Tracker Zol, the Pathfinders loyally follow the Night Spear into battle, hoping to learn from the greatest of all the Rangers as the Aspect Warrior might from a Phoenix Lord. In recent times, Illic Night Spear has been trailing the Necrons for his own mysterious reasons. However, he was captured by the Necron Overlord, Zandrak, on the conquered Tau world of Kano Var, alongside a White Scar Space Marine Captain. The Captain and the Night Spear, with the aid of other prisoners, would eventually manage to escape their captivity. 
afterwards. Night Spear eventually returned to his craft world. After hearing about these Pathfinders, it's important to note that each Pathfinder is motivated by their own personal desires. The Path of Damnation has prepared them for whatever terrible deeds they must enact in order to fulfill their missions. They truly do become the perfect terrorists for the Eldar race. And those were 40 facts on the Eldar Pathfinders. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have suggestions for any other story, whether it's Eldar or any other uh, faction within the 40k universe, just let me know what it is in the comment section below. If you guys have questions, same thing down in the comment section below. I'll either try to answer it for you there, or I'll try to create a video for you guys. And um, thanks so much for listening, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. Oh, <laughs>